harmonize your vibration, step into your light. You are a goddess refined from the inside, and you are flossom. Hello, beautiful humans. It's Sana here. Welcome to your practice. Today we are practicing strength and energy because we all need energy in our lives. And the strength that we are going to bring within ourselves or announce or unveil, find again, is the strength that uh, is not so much about like muscular strength. Of course, we will be using our muscular activity, but it's more like the strength of feeling like connected to your own power and allow it everything else to fall through. All the doubts, all the fears, just release them so you can connect back to your inner power and your inner force because you are truly divine. So the way that I do it is to connect back to the intelligence of the body. And so we simply start in a cross-legged position, meditation pose, allowing yourself to land wherever you have been today, Wherever you have done, if it's the start of the day or the end of the day, allow everything to dissipate and come back or return to the most important person that there is in your life, which is yourself. And allow yourself to fully be embraced by the magic that exists within your body. And the magic gets activated when you are present in it. So with the hands at your knees, if they're not already, close your eyes and start uh, using the breath to truly pull you inward within your magical world, within your sacred temple. And exhale out through the nose passage. Simply repeat, use these breaths to call you inward so that you can have a deeper experience sensing yourself from the inside because life is shaped from the inside out. And exhale it out. Take one longer, deeper breath now through the nose passage. Expand the lungs in all directions and elongate, elongate the spine as you do. Find more awareness, alertness and presence within this beautiful temple of yours. And then exhale out, maybe with a sigh. Softening within the front of your body. Allowing yourself to cuddle in into the back of your body, into the back of your heart. Keep your eyes closed, take a deep breath in and start sweeping the arms up towards the sky, offering your beautiful palms, your hands, the energy of your heart through your hands towards the Father, Son, Sister, Moon and the higher realms and then bring the palms together. Allow these palms to go through the middle line all the way down towards the heart where we find our center and this is the time for you to set an intention what are you looking to? And this is your time to set an intention for this practice. How do you want to feel? How does strength feel into your body? What kind of energy are you invoking in? And how do you want to feel through the practice and after the practice? As you formulate your intention, let it simmer through your body with the next breath in. And with a mmm, collective mmm, all together, feel it, let it percolate through every single cell of your body, every single muscles and fiber of your being into a big mmm.
bow your head and the content that is maybe still in there to the intelligence of your heart. May this class allow you to go deeper into the intelligence of your heart and of your body so that you can disconnect from your beautiful brain, which is great to have one. Sometimes we're just too much in there. So open your eyes and say hello to yourself or maybe to me. And then open your arms out. We're going to start to use breath and movement. This is Kundalini based and I love very much how much energy it brings into my body and I like to do it sometimes in the daytime, sometimes in the evening. So we're using the arms like if you were a runner, front and back, forward and back, forward and back and we're going to match this movement with our breath. So it's in and out, in and out. Use the nose passage rather than the mouth unless you have a cold and then you have to use your mouth and that's totally fine. But if you can, use the breath through the nose passage. One breath is in, one is out. Connect this breath to the movement. The neck is long and you are moving your arms. The shoulders are coming forward and back. There is like a, a gentle movement of your torso and the part that is movement is your middle back and that's totally natural this is how your body moves everything is connected now maybe you can go a little faster can you do that while you keep your sit bones nice and grounded there is a gentle percolation through your thighs and that's totally normal but try to keep those sit bones grounded and the movement is happening from your upper body. However, as I said, everything is connected, so you will definitely feel it also in your legs. Now, if there's pain in your knees for any reasons, you can always find another position. You can go on your knees or use a pillow underneath your beautiful booty. Keep going. This is going to give you a lot of energy and we need energy to go through our life. So you can repeat here, maybe some uh, affirmations that will help you to gain more strength and more energy into your everyday life. And this could be something simple like, I am strong, I am energized, I feel connected to my inner power, I am aligned to the source of power that dwells within me, I am divine. I am great, I am amazing, I am grateful. You can carry on with your own affirmations. You can go wild here. Rewire your brain with affirmations, breath and movement. Beautiful practice to get you going. It's like a delicious cacao cup of yoga. Because I don't drink coffee and you should try cacao because <laughs> it's much better for your body. So keep going. One more minute. <laughs> Also, this movement is activating your arms, your shoulders, and uh, within that, there is the energy of your heart, there is the energy of your lungs, uh, there is uh, the energy of the pericardium area. So you're going to tackle uh, so many different energy centers while you're moving your arms. And it's fun, so if you have to laugh, please do, because at some point it's going to get quite ridiculous. So I lost track of time, but this feels really good. So I'm just going to go on for a little longer, a little longer, and a little longer. Maybe you can come with me. And then with the next inhalation, reach your arms overhead. And as you do, lengthen the sides of the body, bring the palms slightly apart but close to one another and feel the energy between them. Spread your fingers open and open them apart and extend them out in all directions. Feel the energy in between your palms and then allow the palms to kiss on top of your head. Take a deep breath in, elongate, and at the same time ground. So your sit bones are going down. Feel uh, the weight of your hips lowering, going down towards the earth. And at the same time, 
the lightness of your upper body as you are expanding through the sides, through the front to the back. And then slowly exhale, open your arms out, slowly shower your arms down, fingertips towards the ground, allow the fingertips to plug into earth like straws and I invite you to connect to the earth beneath you, to bless the land where you're standing in this moment that gives you life. This is called Bhumi Mudra, it connects us to earth. Whenever you are feeling out of your own power, remember that the power lays within us, but also is within our earth, our mother, and we are within the womb of our mother. So you can connect to earth and Feel again your own cup with this connection. Thank you, Mother. I inhale energy through you. I bring in all this delicious, nourishing, nurturing energy through my fingertips, through my arms, right into my heart, down into my belly and my sacral center and all the way up towards my throat, my third eye, crown, and then all around me. And I start feeling this energy expanding in all my field of magnetism, in my auric field, biomagnetic field. I am empowered, I am connected, I am present. And then slowly release it, open your eyes back into the room, come into a tabletop position. With your wrists and your knees uh, hip distance apart, your wrists are underneath the shoulders. You can extend one leg at a time. A gentle pulsation here. After being in a cross-legged position, this little movement is always so helpful to stretch out the legs and also to start uh, warming up the wrists. And then you can bend your right knee and extend your left leg out, tuck the toes and start pulsing forward and back. And then stay with your left leg extended. Let's find a little bit of strength, finding a plank. Step your right foot back, plank position. Sometimes it's just nice to get right in there. So press the heels back. So your heels and your toes are in one line and hug your middle core inward. As you hug it, lengthen the tailbone and see if you can bring the heart slightly more forward. As you do so, keep pressing the hands and lifting through your outer arms in and up. And notice if other parts of your uh, pectoral muscles are getting activated. The neck, the neck is long and maybe you start shaking <laughs> and join the club. Now press the hands again, take a deep breath in and as you do, bend your knees and start gliding your juicy butt back in space in your first downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana, if you are here, enjoy a little bit of movement because um, life is too short to be still. <laughs> Let's get moving. Now look in between your hands, take a deep breath in, you can lift your right leg up. Can you lift it from your inner thighs? You can even look down towards your toes and as you do so, maybe you can lift the leg even more. Some of you will have the lift, left heel lifted and that's fine. If you can lower it down, that's cool, otherwise no worries. Take another deep breath in and as you do, elongate even more. And as you exhale, now look forward and step your right foot to your right heel. Beautiful. Press the fingertips onto the ground and lift the front of the body. Look forward and wait for the next inhalation to draw your pelvis back and maybe find a lengthening on both legs. It looks like a pyramid pose. As you exhale now, lounge forward and ride your lounge. So let's repeat. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Now step your right foot back again. Inhale, come forward into a high plank and lower the knees at the same time. We're going to do something a little bit uh, unorthodox. So open your... Um, 
your beautiful arms a little bit wider than your shoulders and we're going to take some press ups but like uh, not in the typical chaturanga way but you can open your elbows out activating the strength of our arms the strength of our heart center so come a little forward and hollow through the belly and as you exhale the, the feet can be lifted or onto the ground you can go down halfway or as much as it's possible and exhale come back up inhale lower exhale lift inhale lower exhale lift let's do it one more time inhale lower exhale lift now return the hands a little bit closer towards one another take a deep breath in this time allow the belly to go allow the belly to grow bigger i was about to say allow the belly to drop as you arc the spine lift the chest into a cow position as you exhale around the spine chin to chest and at the same time lift the knees off of the ground and glide the pelvis back into a downward facing dog second side take a deep breath in look down towards your knees and then start lifting your left leg up keep your toes down so you are lifting from your inner thighs and that will keep your hips into squared take another deep breath in and see if you can lift the heel a little bit more and breathe deep into your right side your hamstrings probably are very alive in this moment breathe through it with the next inhalation stay and extend and as you exhale now bring your left knee forward and step lightly your left foot to your left thumb Press the fingertips into the ground, lower the hips and open the heart forward. Wait for the next inhalation to glide the pelvis back in space and extend the front of the leg forward, rather straight. Exhale, lunge forward. Inhale, glide back. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, now press both hands and step your left foot back into a plank position. Can you lower the knees again at the same time? We're opening the arms out one more time as we did before. Keep your spine in neutral, so lengthen the tailbone, sit bones towards one another and hug your core or your belly in. Come slightly forward, take a deep breath in and as you do, go down halfway and as you exhale, come back up. And we do it three to five times. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Now, next time you are now and lower, this time go all the way onto your belly. Wait for the next inhalation to lift the chest. Press the tops of the feet onto the ground and reach your arms back in space. Now, you might want to give your hands and wrist a nice uh, circle on both directions, just uh, as a way to say thank you so much for, you know, having all my weight on you and be here now and supporting me. I love you and you are so strong and resilient. And now with the next inhalation, feel the belly as you press the pubic bone and the crest of your hips onto the ground and start lifting the legs at the same time into a locust position. Now this is the beginning of a back bend, so we're not really working on back bends today, but you can go as high as it feels, but I think, think more of elongation rather than elevation. And then as you exhale, lower hands underneath the shoulders, tuck your toes, come into a child position. Can you lower the four to the ground and wave the head from side to side? Hmm. Wait for the next inhalation to round forward, tabletop, exhale, lift the knees, glide back, downward facing dog. Now look forward towards your hand and you can step, hop or jump or flirt. Find your way to the top of the mat. With the next inhalation, lift the chest, hands on your shins, onto your knees and find a half lift into this position. We'll stay here for a moment. See if your knees want to be completely straight or slightly bent. Plug your feet into the ground. Crown of the head is pointed forward. You're looking down. Then as you exhale, belly onto your thighs. Knees are bending. Crown of the head goes towards the ground. Take a deep breath in. Come all the way up to standing. Sweep your arms up. Gather the energy from all around you all the way. 
through your hands and then as you exhale bring the energy to your heart okay we're gonna do one more flow to revitalize re-energize and recharge us so that we can walk through life with so much inner power take a deep breath in press the feet sweep the arms up and over and as you exhale open your arms sky dive forward forward fold breathe deeply in and open your arms as you lift the chest halfway up and as you exhale step your right foot back left foot back down a facing dog inhale come forward into a high plank this time just drop one knee at a time and lightly tap it to the ground so we're working on our core <laughs> and this is quite uh, i like it it's like a little dance so one knee at a time gracefully gracing the ground and you can actually do it for like 10 minutes if it feels really good but this is supposed to be a short class so we're gonna keep it short now press the hands glad your pelvis back you are back into your down dog position reach your right leg up exhale bring your right knee to nose curl the spine look forward step your right foot to your right hand with the same inhalation reach your arms overhead into crescent lounge now from here let's bring some movement here when we inhale we extend both legs into straight when we exhale make fist and bring your elbows down Shoo. inhale exhale Shoo. maybe with your back knee you are tapping the ground every time you're exhaling inhale exhale Shoo. 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 give it two more Shoo. Shoo. now inhale reach your left arm up and over pivot your back foot come into a war two position so open the hips to the long side of the mat look forward towards your right fingertips your arms are open like a T take a deep breath in and reach your right arm forward flip the hands it reverse the movement with the same inhalation and as you exhale right elbow to thigh reach your left arm over your head and start making big circles here with your left arm inhale reverse the movement with your left arm returning to a reverse word two and as you exhale windmill your arms all the way until they find the floor of Frame your front foot, pick up your back heel, step your right foot back into a downward dog position. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, roll over your toes. Downward dog position. Take a deep breath in here and a big breath out. Let something go. Inhale now, lift your left leg up. And as exhale, bring your left knee to nose round the spine look forward step your left foot forward with the next inhalation reach your arms up into crescent lounge position adjust yourself here as it's needed left hip goes back right hip comes forward micro bend your back knee now when we now we elevate the hips and straighten the legs and we when we excel make fists and whew, bring the elbows back so you now exhale shoo inhale exhale shoo shoo keep your inner thighs engaged shoo look forward smile to your inner strength you can do this two more shoo shoo with the next inhalation reach your right arm up and over left arm back left arm and right arm are in a t-shape pivot the back here word to second side Open the hips to the long side of the mat. See if you can go a little lower. I like to micro bend the right knee. It's up to you if you're doing it or not. See if it feels better into your body. Now check in what feels better into your body. This is about honoring the temple. Now open your arms out with the next generation. Come forward, flip the hands, reach your left arm over your head. And as you exhale, left elbow to your left thigh, reach your right arm over your head and make circles. Adjust your back leg if needed, like I just did, because it felt too far away. So if you need to adjust the stand, please do. 
Make one more circle, now reverse the movement, take a deep breath in, reach your right arm up and over, and reverse the warrior again, left arm over your head, right hand to the back thigh, exhale, circle both arms up, now find the ground, pick up your back heel, step your left foot back and down a dog position. Feel into your flow, if you feel like doing it, do it, otherwise stay in down a dog and rest. Inhale, come forward into a high plank, exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, press the hands, lift the chest over your thighs, roll over your toes, exhale, down a dog. Great work. Take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Inhale, look in between the hands, soften your knees. Soften your elbows, you can pounce forward and come to sit onto your booty. Hold both shins with both hands. Take a deep breath in. Let's take a breath or a few breaths actually to cool down the breath. And we're gonna do one more little exercise here to get strong in our core. So first we recalibrate the breath. So inhale, open your knees, pull your heart forward, press the back of your body to the front of the body, and as you exhale, round, chin to chest, lean back in space. And repeat, inhale, press the back of the body to the front of the body, look up, exhale, round. Inhale, open and lift, exhale, round. One more time, inhale, Open and lift, feel the energy going up through the spine. And as exhale now, instead of rounding, can you find neutral spine? And lean back in space, lean back in space until you are right on the edge and you find the balance on your sit bones. And then you should be able to just release your hands and you can stay here for a real long time. Find a gentle embrace into your belly area here and start lifting the feet off of the ground. Nice one. Now spiral the baby fingers down and up towards the sky and feel more protected and more um, like kind of like uh, embrace to the back of your heart. And this is your boat position. You can stay here and this is already strong or you can go further. Bring your hands together, interlace them, index and thumbs are facing, rather they are long. Your big toe edges of the feet are together. When you inhale, you elongate. And when you exhale, bring the front of the body forward. Open your knees and exhale out forcefully. So inhale, exhale, shoo. Inhale, exhale, makes sounds effect. It makes, it, it makes the whole practice more fun. Shoo. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Give me 20. Shoo, maybe 10. Shoo, 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 shoo. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Release the feet onto the ground. Place the hands behind you. Let's stretch the front of the body. Inhale, press the hands and the feet at the same time and start lifting the booty off of the ground. Reverse tabletop position, chin to chest. Ah, feel it into your shoulders. Keep your, long, your neck long. However, you are always welcome to lengthen and look back if there's no pain in your neck. And if there's pain in your neck, for safety, keep the chin to chest. That is for sure the best option for you. And even if you don't have pain in your neck, this is my favorite option. And then from here, slowly release it. Bring the booty onto the ground. Nice one. Extend your left leg into straight. Bring your right foot on top of it. Let's find a twist. So <clears throat> bring your uh, right hand behind you. Inhale, reach your left thumb up. And then place the elbow on top of your thigh. At the same time that you are screwing the sit bones into the ground, we are elevating. So imagine the elevation coming from the middle back. So inhale, lift, and as you exhale, then rotate and look over your right shoulder. You can press the fingertips of your right hand and see if you can find more space, more elevation and elongation. Imagine there is a line of energy going from the tailbone all the way through your spine to the crown of the head, 
and you feel this energy is pulling you up towards the sky, feeling long, elevated, present, aware, and also curious. What is this energy that keeps me up like this? <laughs> and then slowly release it. We're going to counterpose to the other side. So place both hands onto the left side. And you can find a gentle twist to the left. Nice. And then reach your right arm up and over. As simple as extending the right leg forward. Place your left foot on top of the thigh and on the ground. So over. And then left hand is on the ground. Take a deep breath in, reach your right arm up as if you want to touch something on top of the ceiling. And as you exhale, right elbow goes onto the thigh, pressing it there. Now wait for the next inhalation to screw the sit bones down. And as you exhale, elongate and then twist, look over your left shoulder. Oh, I feel so good. You can stay here for a real long time. And with each inhalation, you can readjust yourself, and as you exhale, you can find more twists and depths into the pose. Ah, yeah, yeah, so good. Mm. And then slowly release it. I'm gonna face you. You can come into a cross-legged position. If you feel like going into Shavasana, please do. This is your practice. However, this class is designed to be short and quick and to get you going. So let's finish by sitting on a cross-legged position with your hands somewhere onto your knees, onto your thighs, and returning to our breath to again make us remember of our beautiful body that we inhabit. And when we are connected to our breath, we can truly inhabit and land more deeply within our body, within this beautiful instrument that we got given to experience life on earth. And so have a few moments of presence Noticing the places within you where there is a lot of aliveness, perhaps the palms, and if you prefer, you can flip the palms so the palms are facing up uh, in a way of like uh, being very receptive and ready to give, but also so, so ready to receive the juiciness and the abundance of life. And then you can place the hands together at the heart, closing the class with uh, an OM, the sound of the universe, the sound that connects us back to uh, the earth, the sound that connects us to the cycles of life. And in each cycle there is a beginning, there is a middle, and there is an end. And then everything will begin again, over and over again. So take a deep breath in, clear your throat with a ha. Inhale deeply. Oh.